everyone, Chris of Coalition Gaming here. Maybe you've seen our OBS NDI video, the two PC stream setup. If you haven't, it'll be linked right up here. OBS NDI allows you to take a second computer to do the encoding for your streams, which will main help maintain performance on the gaming computer. It'll help your streams look better and it will help you maintain FPS while gaming and streaming. Number one, does OBS NDI need to be installed on both computers? If you're using two computers, then yes, absolutely. It needs to be installed on both because of the way NDI works. It, ne it needs to be sent from one computer and received by the other. The plugin is indeed required for any and all computers involved. We've used it in the three PC setup. If you wanna check that out, the link will be right up here. Number two, it's another common question here. Will my mic audio and game audio and all audio in general be transferred over to the second computer? Yes, yes it will, as long as all your audio input devices are properly configured in OBS on the gaming computer, everything will be sent over to the streaming computer. Number three, my screen is black. So sometimes when the NDI is detected on both and you select it as your source on the streaming computer, all you get is a black screen and nothing's happening. Maybe just a little tiny red square. 99% of the time, this is firewall related. So all you have to do is go into your Windows firewall and allow on both public and private, OBS, OBS 64, anything OBS related in Windows firewall, allow it through there. An additional note, if your network is configured as public instead of private or work, it will not work with NDI. You have to go and change that. Details on that will be linked in the description. Number four, can I use my laptop? Honestly, any computer works with, with this, but yes, you can use your laptop. Now it's important that it has a gigabit ethernet port on it because gigabit ethernet is essentially what is necessary for this. Over Wi-Fi, not recommended, but we'll get into that in another question. Specs for the laptop should at least be a hyper-threading dual core, like, like an i3, and that will be great for 720p, 30 FPS at the very least. Number five, can I use Mac or Linux? OBS NDI on the plugin page, as a matter of fact, you just gotta click it and have a look. OBS NDI is supported on pretty much all major platforms, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So go ahead and have a look there and download your, uh, your specific one for what you're using and it should work. Number six, I have slow internet. Can I still use this? Yes, as a matter of fact, OBS NDI has nothing to do with internet speed. It, we, are, we are talking numbers that sound like it would be for internet speed, but it uses network bandwidth. And network bandwidth is the speed of your stuff, of your computers and your router in between themselves before it goes out to the internet. So the speed between the computers connected to your router or switch, that is what NDI is using. And as long as everything is gigabit, 10 slash 100 slash 1000 megabits, then you'll be in good shape. Number seven. Can I use it over Wi-Fi? OBS NDI technically can be used over Wi-Fi, but unless you have a really good connection, probably a five gigahertz wireless AC connection that has a really, really good upload, or at least just a really good network bandwidth, then uh, it's highly recommended that you don't use it. You want to be wired in with gigabit ethernet cables. Wi-Fi should be a last resort. Number eight, the stream is laggy on the streaming PC's preview window in OBS. This could be chalked up to a few things, but primarily it's because you're, you don't have enough network bandwidth. Double check your connections are at gigabit speeds or that they're connected at one gigabit per second and you should be fine. Most of the time this issue is laggy. It's because your connection, something went wrong in the connection and you're only at 100 megabits. OBS NDI at 720p, 30 FPS is already using about 100 megabits megabits and it'll only go up from there depending on your resolution and FPS setting in OBS so that's the minimum and you're gonna saturate your network at 720p 30 already so make sure you're on gigabit it's only a drop in the bucket in a gigabit but it will max out a regular fast Ethernet connection that's 10 hundred number nine since it uses network bandwidth is it going to affect my latency in my games as far as I can tell no We've been using NDI for our streams for uh, over a year now, and it's just not a noticeable difference in performance. As long as you're gigabit connected, once again, it's very important. As long as you're gigabit connected, it's just a drop in the bucket and it won't really affect anything. Number 10. 
If OBS is still being used on the gaming computer, how is this supposed to improve performance? Won't I still lose FPS in my games? The NDI plugin does not actually engage the, the encoder in OBS. So X264 encoder is what is highly CPU intensive. And if, and if you've tried streaming and gaming from the same PC, you'll notice that your games and your performance overall can suffer. NDI uses its own codec to send its feed over the network to another computer, and it uses minimal amount of CPU power to do it, in which case you will also lose a minimal amount of FPS in games. It'll be a, a way better improvement than streaming and gaming on the same computer. Also, your input sources configured in OBS on the gaming PC play a factor, so make sure that any input sources you have uh, you mark the, the checkbox that will shut them down when not visible or when you're not using them and you'll be in good shape. Now for some bonus questions because as I wrote this I came up with a couple of other things I wanted to throw in so here we go. The audio goes out of sync between my mouth and what's seeing, being seen on video. This is somewhat of a common issue with NDI we're still not sure why but the easy fix is to just close OBS on the gaming PC and then reopen it and you'll be in sync again. And don't worry, your stream will stay up because technically the second computer is what's actually streaming out and as long as OBS on that PC doesn't close, you will still be live. Why do this over NV Encoder or Radeon Encoder in OBS or programs like SLOBS or Bebo? Long story short, those hardware encoders aren't exactly up to par in terms of visual quality to X264. OBS NDI allows you to use the X264 encoder in OBS off of the streaming PC so you'll get the max quality for the bitrate, especially if you're on a bitrate limited service like Twitch. Lastly, here's some configuration tips. A big problem that people run into is getting the configuration right between the two computers. You want to treat the gaming PC as if you were streaming out to Twitch all by itself. So in the OBS video setting, you set your base canvas to the canvas or to the resolution of your monitor. So let's say you have a 1920 by 1080p monitor. You set that 1920 by 1080 in the base canvas. Output scaled resolution, let's say you're going to stream at 720p, which is a really good resolution to, to stream at so you get the best performance in terms of FPS, you put 1280 by 720 and the common FPS value, we're gonna go with 60. Let's say you're using an older monitor on your streaming PC and it's a different resolution and this is the cause of a lot of problems. Let's say it's a 1680 by 1050 monitor. That's how I have my setup, so let's go over that. If it's a 1680 by 1050 monitor, your base canvas should be unrelated to that. On the streaming PC, you open the OBS video settings and you set it to what you set the output resolution on the gaming PC. And remember, we set that at 1280 by 720. So the base canvas on the streaming PC should be set to 1280 by 720. You're also gonna be streaming out to your services at that same resolution. So set the output scaled resolution to 1280 by 720 and then match your common FPS value, 60 in this case. And you will overcome a lot of issues by making sure that this part of the configuration is matched up properly. And that's it. That's a lot of information on OBS NDI. I hope you guys like that. If you have any of your own questions, maybe we'll do another video on that. Leave a comment down below with your question. Make sure to upvote it if it's a question you guys want to see in our next video on this subject. With all that said, make sure to join our Discord. All our social media is in our description. All links are in our description. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe. We always got more coming. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.